Welcome to a Minnesota Banking Minute. I'm Carla Bush with the Minnesota Bankers Association. Recently, MBA surveyed member banks regarding their plans to reopen branches, and one of the biggest questions bankers had revolved around whether to screen their employees and or customers. I'm here with attorney Steve Kerboff from Jackson Lewis, who will share with you what you need to know about screening for COVID-19 in your bank. Steve, what steps can a bank take to screen employees for coronavirus? So that's a very good question, one that's on a lot of people's minds. There's a couple of things that they can do. Uh, one is your typical self-certification style screening, where employees are asked questions about uh, potential symptoms or exposure. Uh, symptoms that are fair game to ask about include, for example, whether the employee has a fever of 100.4 or higher in Minnesota, uh, whether the employee is experiencing chills, a new cough, uh, new loss of uh, 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 smell, taste, um, new body cramps, uh, whether the person is experiencing shortness of breath, other COVID-related symptoms. Uh, another topic of uh, questioning is often whether the individual has been exposed to individuals who have been diagnosed with COVID and or whether the individual has recently traveled to a place where there's widespread community transmission. So that's one thing that can be done. Another thing is temperature taking. The EEOC has recently indicated that the ADA prohibition on medical examinations in contexts like this uh, has been relaxed in this pandemic. So employers may now, um, under this pandemic circumstance, uh, take employees' temperatures. So that's another thing. I wanna mention though, that really the screening uh, procedures that we've just discussed are part and parcel of a larger uh, kind of prevention plan that should be in place. Um, there's certainly a, a supplement to and a complement to uh, traditional uh, you know, social distancing and hygiene measures and really should be a part of a bigger program for coronavirus preparedness and prevention. Thanks. Are banks also able to screen visitors and customers in addition to employees? And that's a good question. And the answer to that is typically yes. Uh, banks are private locations. Um, you know, individuals, whether they be customers or vendors or other visitors, are there at the invitation of the bank. So uh, generally, customers can be screened. Of course, it's very important that all uh, federal, state, and local laws, regulations, and guidelines are complied with when it comes down to the testing of customers as it is with employees. What about any privacy issues that need to be taken into account when conducting coronavirus screening? Good question. Coronavirus screening is uh, typically, uh, it should be treated as confidential. Uh, the information that is being solicited is medical information. Um, generally, when it comes down to uh, confidentiality, you want to think about who's an appropriate person to be conducting your screening. Uh, that person should be discreet. The information gathered should be kept confidential. It should not be shared with others uh, within the workplace. Um, even with an employee who's tested positive as managers and supervisors, um, it typically should not be shared unless it's necessary for the purpose of restricting work duties or um, you know, otherwise uh, creating some kind of an accommodation for the individual who is experiencing symptoms. You also wanna make sure that records that are generated in connection with coronavirus testing are treated confidentially. Uh, they should typically not be held in employee personnel files, for example. They should be restricted uh, to those who have an absolute need to know the information that's contained therein and should not be uh, in a place where other individuals can have access to them. Great, that is wonderful information. Thank you so much for joining us, Steve. And please join us for part two, where Steve will talk about how to set up best practices for a coronavirus screening program, as well as what your bank should do if it determines your employee is potentially ill. Thank you and we'll see you next time.